Welcome back, I am is 316 and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your Red Cat 64 interior. Check mine out. Well, this is the way I customize it. I paint it and I also put neon lights, all that's neon lights. Of course, with this little control right here, let me show you right quick. Turn the lights on as you guys can see. They look pretty good, right? I know. But also check this out. I'll push it again. And they start pulsing. And if I push this little button again, they start rapidly pulsing. Check that out. How cool is that? Yeah, I know this is cool. Next level shit, right? I know. So now let me show you and take you inside the interior and show you every little detail that I did to this guy. Here we go. Okay, so right here you guys can see. Obviously, I painted this bad boy. You know, it was all black and stuff. And I also decided to modify this steering wheel right there. As you guys can see, the center is chrome. And also, this little trim right there. That's also chromed out. Um, the way I did this was I bought some markers. Let me show you right now. So I bought these markers right here that are called Liquid Chrome. Make sure it says liquid chrome and it's right there, mirror uh, effect. Whatever you paint with these markers, they make it look just like chrome. I mean, these are kind of pricey. I just want to tell you that. They're kind of like 15, maybe 20 bucks, but they're worth it. They make everything you color look very chrome. It's like, a, like if you send it out to get chrome. That's the first thing I did to this interior. And the second is very obvious, the paint. I had to paint this guy, but it wasn't just any paint. I never done this before to these RC cars. So you know what? I went to my local hobby shop and asked, what kind of paint do I need for this? Can I paint it just with the regular uh, paint that I use for my model cars? And they told me, no, absolutely not. And I was like, well, why not? They were like, if you paint this kind of material with that kind of paint, it's going to crack, like give it maybe a month and it's going to start cracking. So you need a specific paint. So I'm going to show you what kind of paint I used. So you guys can see right here, guys, I got this kind of this kind of paint right here. Make sure this says on the bottle right there. If it doesn't say that, then this paint is going to start chipping as soon as you apply it within like a month. That's what they told me. Uh, this paint is also very expensive. I mean, like everything on the hobby, of course. But if you want it to last and the paint not to chip, you need to buy this kind. Well, not this color, but you know, or not even this brand, but make sure it says that. Poly, whatever, carbonate, whatever it says right there. Make sure you get that kind of paint. Okay, and if you're like me about this time in the video, I'm all like, well, be quiet about all that. I want to know how the heck you install these Neon lights on the interior. Where can I get this material? Don't worry, I got you covered. I'm going to show you right now. Yeah, you might be saying to yourself, what the heck is that mask doing here? Well, to be honest with you, I took this kind of material, the neon light strips, off of this mask. I bought it for Halloween. I decided to take it off and use it for this interior, which it was a good idea, don't you think? So what I did is just took off the strip. I didn't do any modifications to it. The control already came with it. The wire, everything came assembled. So all I did was take it off of this and put it onto this. Of course, you guys could see all those holes in the mask. That's where the strip was at. So I took this concept and applied it to this right here. As you guys can see. I did pretty much the same thing. I drilled a lot of holes, as you can see, a lot of them, just to get this effect on the interior right here. So let me show you the back so you guys can know what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, the whole strip glows. See right there? You see what I did? Pretty much sold the whole thing together. It's one long piece. Of course, I had some left over that I just tucked in there and, you know, just did the rope right here and everything. So... Pretty much if you get one of those masks, you get a big long strip like this and you could customize it however your heart desires. You can even throw this thing on the bottom if you want. But I decided to go for the interior right here. 
Okay guys, so this is the way the, the interior looks from right there, of course. And this is the way it looks from the front all the way to the back. Check it out. And this is the way it looks from the back right there. I did get all this little pinstriping. Of course, with the sticker sheet that you get with this car. But it looks pretty good if you do a little bit of customizing to it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. i just giving you some ideas on how to customize your Red Cat 64 Impala interior. I wanted to get a, a little bit more crazy with this, but I was like, you know what? I just want to keep it original and with a little bit of modifications to make it look good. Okay, I'm going to say this is the end of the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You want to check out these other videos to my left and to my right. Go ahead and click on them and enjoy. In case you want to subscribe to this YouTube channel, there's going to be a big red button in the middle that says it's 316. Go ahead and click on it and, and you'll be subscribed to this YouTube channel. I'll see you on my next video. Peace.